talk about some diatonic triads and how you can use them in blues music. So what, what I'm going to do right here is just take um, the key of C, all right, and what I'm going to do is play all the triads in the key of C only on the fourth, third, and second strings. So what you're going to get is C, D minor, E minor, F, G, A minor, to see. So again, I'll play that. Now, what I'm going to do, these are called inversions, by the way. So these, are, these are second inversions. So, um, in the key of C, um, C is your triad, your basic triad, 1, 3, and 5 from the major scale. But if I invert that and take the low note and move it up an octave, I get E, G, and C. And if I do it again, move the lower note up an octave, I get G, C, and E. So that's called a second inversion. So these are all second inversions right here that I'm playing for you. So what I'm going to do, though, is in the key of C, we're going to go to the fifth chord. In other words, C, D, E, F, G. And G, if we analyze the notes stacked up in the diatonic harmony, we're going to have G7 chord, G, B, D, and F. And you've heard that a lot. But I'm going to take those triads from the key of C and show you how you can use those over the top of that chord, all right? So this is C. Um, this is the B diminished. But if we look, the B diminished is contained within the G7 chord. So now what I'm going to do is add a little flat 3 to the natural 3. And then minor, but watch how these sound. Alright, so that way you actually can improvise over the top. Here's another example. I'm going to go backwards through the triads. So it gives you something you can you can improvise over the top of those. It's more like a piano player. So in the blues, which um, I'm thinking, with these concepts, you're probably already familiar with the blues, 12 bar blues, um, the one four five chord. So here's the G, the one. We're gonna go to the C, for your four, and for your D, we're gonna go to the five. So now every time I change through the 12 bar blues. I'm going to do the parent scale triads. So in other words, when I'm in G, I'm playing all the triads in C. When I'm in C, I'm playing all the triads in F. And when I'm in D, I'm playing all the triads in G. So I'll show you what I mean. here on the five, four, and the same thing, on the two, back to the G. So here, and also you can do things where you just take the bottom and top notes, so watch. So, Principle of playing 
of the diatonic triads in different keys, you know, in other words, three keys. Um, what's kind of interesting is instead of just playing up the neck like this, and then the four, triads um, closer so we're playing in one area so that way you can kind of concentrate and connect with the audience more instead of looking at your guitar <laughs> so here we go we're gonna go Time.